Meanwhile, Israel is bracing for the arrival of one of the strongest storms in years as winter storm Elpis heads this way. Schools across the country are set to close early as heavy snowfall is expected over the northern and central mountains. Joining us to break this down is Dr. Barry Lynn, head of Weather It Is. Dr. Lynn, it's pretty heavy rainfall outside our studio right now. How bad is this storm really? Well, in terms of total rainfall, it's not the heaviest rainfall we could get. But when you combine it with the potential for a big snowfall, it could be rather dramatic and rather severe for people, especially living in the higher elevations of Jerusalem and the Golan, as you can see. We're hearing reports of snowstorm, uh, the snowstorm battering much of Greece, Turkey, and especially Syria. Where will be worst hit and what can we expect to see there? We will be worst hit here starting in the evening time. Actually, people, you know, they wait for the snow to come during the day, but it always seems to snow at night here. And our forecast models are predicting the heaviest snow to fall from about after eight o'clock in the evening until about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and at more than an inch or a few centimeters an hour. What are the consequences of the storm? What can we see? Are we going to see schools closing, uh, roads blocked? What, what can we expect coming up today? Well, it'll depend just on where you live and how high you live above sea level, I mean, what is your elevation. But definitely, even if the snow is not accumulating a lot, it's going to be cold and it's going to be snowing very hard in many areas of Jerusalem, Gush Etzion, the mountains to the north, the Galilee, Sfat, as well as the Golan. So roads will be closed probably until sometime tomorrow morning. Can we expect any casualties or damage? Well, unfortunately, the winds are going to be probably 60, 80 kilometers an hour. And uh, that's, those are pretty strong winds. If you combine them with snow on trees, people really need to be careful. They shouldn't go outside. They should at least not wear there any trees or power lines and they should not be driving at all. So if people play it safe, they should be okay. But if they go outside, they're putting their lives in danger. And we saw what kind of damage it did to Greece and Turkey and Syria. Um, are we gonna see that kind of damage here and where is it gonna go next? Well, it's basically just moving east through Jordan and Syria. And um, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen after that. It's probably, it's probably gonna dissipate to some extent. It's interesting because that storm that went through Greece and um, Turkey actually disconnected itself from the polar stream of uh, very cold air coming from Siberia, and then it reconnected itself as it approached us. So we're, we expect conditions similar to what they had, but of course it really depends in terms of snowfall just how high, how high up you are, because we live in a place where one degree temperature can make all the difference between 10 centimeters and 30 centimeters. And how are Israeli authorities and Israeli services, rescue services, for example, how are they preparing for that? Well, I've seen they've got a lot of snow plows and they've got a lot of uh, sand out there. But really, they need people to stay off the roads because people go on the roads and they can't plow the roads. So I think the city is ready and I think they're prepared to close roads. Now, of course, there's the potential for flooding and coastal areas and it never seems like we're never quite prepared for that and we really should be. So we, we've got a lot of work ahead of us to prepare, not just for snow, but for floods as the climate changes, especially in storms that are more severe. Absolutely. And in the coastal enclave of the Gaza Strip, local authorities have gone so far as to declare a state of emergency ahead of the storm. What do you think we're going to see there where there's, for example, a severe lack of electricity? Well, it's going to be very cold, so I expect uh, it's going to be very difficult for residents there. Yes, indeed. Dr. Barry Lynn, CEO of Weather It Is, thank you for joining us. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.